Hey, yo, what's going guys? Nama saya Ann Gabi. Sekarang ni kita berada dekat uh, documentary punya press conference. This is Johan. Bersama saya sekarang, kita ada the man himself. Mr. Joe Frizzo. Also known as Johan. Apa khabar bang? Baik, baik. Kita straight away sebab hari ni ramai orang kata. Tak apa, tak apa. Ramai kita menunggu, take menunggu-nunggu kan. Boleh take your time. Take my time. Okay. Kita teruskan dengan soalan yang pertama. Yes, sir. Sekarang ni, eh, masih ada artis hip hop yang tak dapat perhatian dengan all these radio station. Mm-hmm. Dengan TV station so, mm-hmm. Untuk Ju Seorang yang boleh keluarkan dokumentari Perjalanan mm. sepanjang ni kan Ada tak nasihat untuk orang yang masih di bawah tanah Untuk But, nak try follow your step Bagi saya Kita pun dulu tak dapat perhatian Tapi ramai orang Tergesa-gesa untuk Cut corner Dia tergesa-gesa untuk cut queue Saya bagi contoh Sebenarnya perhatian yang yang perlu didapat yang kita perlu yang kita inginkan tu hmm. pertama sekali first and foremost needs to come from your direct crew meaning you kena dapatkan perhatian lima kawan baik you daripada lima kawan baik you tu mungkin you dapat perhatian orang you punya taman lah lepas okay. taman tu mungkin you punya kawasan macam sebelum Subang jadi mungkin SS19 punya budak-budak hmm. suka lu Lepas tu budak-budak SS15 dengar Lepas tu satu Subang dengar Lepas tu mungkin budak-budak PJ dengar Lepas tu mungkin ada orang kenal dekat Klang Valley Lepas tu barulah kita nak meneroka pergi Melaka ke pergi Johor ke Tapi yang penting bagi saya There's no shortcuts to success And you need to grow a very organic uh, Community Ya, yeah, community and foundation Biarlah lima Ratus orang saja. Macam there's a very famous tweet From J. Cole Thanking his fans Masa tu dia ada 560 berapa je mm-hmm. And the type I would like to thank my 563 people that believe in me You get me or not? Yeah. You need to take this 500 people These super fans And you, you, you need to snowball the thing mm-hmm. Menjadi besar Kan? Okay. Um, macam kalau you tengok eh Saya bagi contoh God I remember Masa dia start Selatan Dia punya first few shows Ada yang venue-venue tu kan Macam Ui kecil venue ni Macam Besar macam ruang Macam 80 orang Tapi you boleh tengok 80 orang tu Have grown You know 80 to become 200 To become 300 Now they can sell out venues You know So I feel that is a good And Harus ingat Of course Baju, style, hype ni semua The latest sneakers This is secondary Sementara Bukan sementara Dia yeah, dia nice. penting mm-hmm. Tapi dia bukan Benda yang paling penting Benda paling penting Ialah lagu Lagu kena sedap nice, nice. Mixing kena sedap Mastering kena sedap Kalau tak reti buat Bukan modal gaya buat. je lah Of course not You know So for me it's like Quality come first Look When Sona One came out with his first album Before that kita dah sign dia But mm. kita release macam 4-5 mixtape Satu mixtape 20 lagu ada yang 15 lagu So basically sebelum Sona punya album keluar mm. dia, dah, dia dah keluarkan 50 lagu Let's be real How many Artists can say that Today Semua orang buat first song Ni lah ni This my next single <laughs> And then Tak hit oh, oh, Ni lah orang tak 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 reti Orang tak faham It's not like that You mm. need to You need to End of the day bro Hard work beats talent Every single time Word When talent doesn't work Word You get what I mean? Yes. So You couple these things together inshallah And You need to know You need to be Your ears need to be close to the streets You need to keep your ears close to the streets Because mm-hmm. Sometimes yes The quality is there but Maybe tak Subject matter tak kena Katakanlah Yes You're trying to You can't Tak boleh relate dengan apa yang Tak boleh relate Macam kadang-kadang mungkin terlalu drill ha. dengan, Terlalu trap sangat <laughs> Takkan Bukan nak Takkan lah. nak masuk surau nyanyi lagu trap kan? <laughs> so Kita kena Sejajar dengan <laughs> Ah, You need to read People you know this saying You need to read the room You need to read the room Yeah, And it's not Compromising eh mm. Dia bukan Selling out eh The ability to read a room If you can read a room Great Okay 
if you can read a nation's yeah, appetite, right. if you can, if you can, like forecast or you can rasa rasa, okay, this is what Malaysia needs. That is, that is, that is it. Uh, you know, so, that, so that's yeah, that. you need, you get there, but sabar, uh-huh. trust the process. Itu sabar, je. sabar penting. Okay, next question. Yep. Uh, ini berkenaan dengan dokumentari Jo sendiri mm-hmm. Berapa peratus kisah Jo yang diceritakan dalam dokumentari ini? Cukup tak orang nak tahu kisah 25 ini? 25 tahun dalam 2 jam memang <laughs> You do the math in this <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh-uh. 2 jam No, it's it's very But we try We try to simplify it We try to You know like um, Try to tell Every important moment lah. Mm-hmm. But of course If you want to Go into more detail, like of course you need to sit down with me, and it will take like days for me to finish the story. But I feel like I feel like it's enough. It's enough to tell the story. It's 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 more than enough to, you know, like tell you on, at least of my origins and how I fell in love with music. You know, so it's not just about Too Fat. This documentary is also about me growing up, me as a as a child, me as a son. You know, growing up abroad and and trying to, you know, belajar nyanyi lagu-lagu bahasa Malaysia, lagu-lagu Melayu supaya mak saya yang takut saya ni balik berbual pelat masalah tak kerti berbual macam Melayu pula and and just like you know, I think it it tell is is a lot more than just perjalanan seni tu fat saja. So kita cerita tentang macam mana saya jatuh cinta dengan music. Yeah. Dan cerita tentang, you know, macam uh, mana pilihan lagu pertama. Yeah, or also like even the the challenges that we face, you know. Yeah, yeah, cukup lengkap lah. And last line, mm. dalam bahagian dokumentari ini, uh, which one, which part yang you rasa uh, paling susah untuk nak dedahkan, but you know you decide untuk letakkan dalam dokumentari ini. Any side of your side? Um, bagi saya tak, saya senang saja berbual, tapi cuma, of course you will see. Because Bunny, the director, is a very smart interviewer. Like, mm. banyak kali yang saya tengah kena interview tu, saya pun tak tahu kamera tu tengah on. Hanya dia suruh semua orang keluar. Tiba-tiba saya dengan dia tengah berbual 15 minit. Dan saya tanya dia, bila kita nak shoot ni? Oh no, the camera's been running for one hour. So, the last one hour tu, kita... Saya pun tak tahu. So, he caught me off guard. So, you know, so if you look at the ending of episode one, macam tiba-tiba dia tanya soalan macam ni kan yeah. Um, But yeah for me saya senang bercerita Kerana saya rasa tak ada, tak ada salah pun kan berbual And just telling you my 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 not say side This is what I remember You know like 25 years of Of uh, stories and you know 25 uh, 25 year journey of course Some people in my crew remember different things, like Tibo remember different things, I remember different things, but we try to piece everything together and give the best presentation we could. Yeah. Yes, I think that's it. Terbaik. All right. Also, good luck. All right, man. Shout out to HMO. Hear me out. Peace, one love. One love. HMO TV, it's me, Han Kabe, right now. One cent, two cent of that. We got DJ T Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? T Boy in the building, yo. Apa kabar, T Boy? I'm good, sir. Okay, good, straight sir. to the question because uh, kita dah pun tengok dokumen uh, tadi tadi kita nampak uh, banyak uh, involvement uh, apa T Boy dengan Two Fat tu memang T Boy adalah salah satu tulang belakang Two Fat lah. Music yeah. untuk Two Fat. So uh, the question is, apakah perasaan T Boy apabila perjalanan T Boy, perjalanan Two Fat, perjalanan kerja ni didokumentasikan, didokumentarikan? Dan ditunjuk pada orang. No, I mean the journey was so good, and um, I had a lot of good experience. Um, two of them, and um, they're like my brothers. And uh, the whole journey was good, and uh, we gone through a lot of experience. And then, yeah, it, it, indeed, man, you know. So for now, like we have our own path in now in our career wise, and uh, wish the best. And uh, so yeah, it is what it is, man. Yeah. And also harapan for I mean like for your fans and also new people, new listener, uh, new audience yang nak discover tu fan nak discover uh, hip hop ni kan about story hip hop in Malaysia. So apa yang you wish kepada dia orang apa harapan? Uh, nothing much. I just can say like you know just just be real and keep it real. That's all. That's yeah. all. That's all. Yeah. Jadi memang tahu yang cakap that's why dia dia scratch. <laughs> <je. laughs> 
Yo, man, you know, just keep it real and just be real, man. You know. All right, all right. That's the key for everything. Okay, ada lagi, ada lagi salam apa? Oh, so bro, memang susah lah. Ah, susah sedih. Itu antara yang, you know, knowing tibon someone yang ya kurang bercakap and you orang yeah, yang yeah. happy go lucky, you are happy go lucky person. But seeing you showing your emotion, e- emotion yeah. expression. Yeah, it is because the thing is like um, the the moments that we have control, like you know, every single mm-hmm. chapter in our life. I mean, when I was with them, you know, it was like. It was a like like peak that we were want about to do something, you know. Then suddenly everything just like you know. Um, so yeah, so it was just an emotional moment for me. Something and, uh, you double sorok kan lah. No, I don't think I can hide it, man. You know, uh-huh. you know what I mean. So yeah. So so if you guys, this, if you guys want to know apa yang kita orang cakap kan macam mana emotionalnya uh, tibun sewaktu menceritakan tentang tu fact tu, you guys boleh check it out dekat view sekarang. This is Johan sudah pun keluar. Yo. Peace. Thank you, man. Well, one guys, one time, one more time with me right now. Kita ada bersama kawan, teman baik childhood, uh, Joe Flizo, Mr. Primus. Apa khabar? Apa khabar, apa khabar? Baik, baik. Okay. <laughs> so, quick question. Just nak tanya a few soalan lah. Since uh, Primus, seorang yang kita, dekat dokumentari, uh, dokumentari tadi, kita tengok kebanyakan muka Primus yang bercerita lah. So, as a friend yang grew up dengan Joe Flizo, uh, how do you feel and apakah reaksi anda bila tengok perjalanan waktu-waktu muda di dokumentari kan dan didokumentasikan dan ditonton dipertontonkan kepada halayak ramai so how do you I feel about firstly, that? I think firstly I rasa bangga lah bangga that Joe I mean I kenal him since you know sebelum Too Fat masa sekolah I see him berusaha dia orang yang tak putus asa dan masa dia start Too Fat pun I mean start singing semua we thought main-main lah mm-hmm. and tak 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 sangka that uh, boleh sampai today lah after 25-6 tahun mm-hmm. and then he's now an icon besar bagaimanapun orang kenal Joe mm-hmm. so I've witnessed semua ni dari day one until now I rasa amat bangga lah I think if you put your heart into something akan berjaya, akan berjaya. so to see Joe put hip hop into the map So, waktu waktu kecil-kecil dulu ada tak ada pernah cakap dekat uh, Mr. Rima macam eh pandai I'm going to be a big star you know ada yeah, macam of course of course masa tu kita semua main-main main-main lah kelak-kelak lah. masa tu kita dengar Snoop Doggy Dog eh oh, Snoop Dogg's first album Doggy Style kita pegang album tu then yeah. Joe nyanyi then Joe Joe will you know borak-borak say eh one day I nak nyanyi dengan dia but after 20 oh years betul-betul in one song he's singing with people like Snoop Dogg and Warren G Memang boleh lah. I mean, if you put your mind and heart and mm-hmm. work towards it, I think boleh. So, you antara saksi yang yes, melihat yes. Uh, orang kata cita uh, angan-angan menjadi impian yes, lah. Yes, yes. Ini, ini really true story lah. Yes. And if he can do it, mm-hmm. I think semua orang boleh. I think it's a very inspiring documentary that mm-hmm. everybody should watch to to be inspired. Lah. Mm-hmm. Like so, uh, itu melanjut kepada soalan itulah apakah harapan kepada penonton-penonton uh, yang nak melihat sekarang ni uh, dokumentari di sisi Johan ni? So, do you have any wish to them? I mean, go watch it man. It's really inspiring, really touching, emotional. I mean, it's it's like a roller coaster ride lah. So, ada yang up and down but go watch it. Memang dope gila lah. Yeah, already out on view so jangan lupa untuk menonton This is Johan exclusive by Hotlink yes peace out so this is this